At least 54 people are dead after a cargo truck carrying dozens of Central American migrants crashed in southern Mexico. We know that more than, more than 50 people were hurt. Uh, this is one of the deadliest incidents of human smuggling and accidents involving those trucks, which we've seen before in on the record. I mean, this is uh, staggering amounts of casualties. Allison Harris is live now with more on this smuggling operation and what's being done next. Good morning, Adrian. This is difficult news to report this morning. This is being called one of the worst accidents involving migrants risking their lives traveling to the U.S.-Mexico border ever. And as you mentioned, the latest death toll we have this morning is 54 migrants, many of them from Central America, many of them from Guatemala, traveling in a tractor trailer on their way from Mexico to the U.S. border. Now, Mexican authorities say what happened was this trailer was taking a sharp turn and simply buckled and busted open because of the weight. Mexican authorities say more than 100 migrants were in that trailer. It was a massive rescue and recovery effort, and there are dozens more who are injured. We are talking about women, men, children who died in this accident. It happened in the state of Chiapas, and the governor of that state in Mexico there says that they are going to hold these smugglers who organize this accountable. They also say that they are working on humanitarian visas for the survivors, as well as lodging for the survivors. You mentioned it, Adrian, that unfortunately this is nothing new. Just last month, there were two trailers found with more than 600 migrants inside. This just happens to be one of the most deadly accidents of this kind. Uh, it's also worth noting the context of this, that this is happening in a year when there have been a record number of arrests at the U.S.-Mexico border of migrants, many of them coming from Central America, being smuggled through Mexico to the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, and this is an ongoing crisis for the Biden administration here in Washington trying to deal with this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.